Let's talk about flirting. Let's talk about the best questions that you can ask where it's actually gonna help you move things forward with the girl. So they're very, very powerful. And also they are flirtatious. So it's this idea where you're showing interest but in a way that's kind of like you're not showing interest. That might sound kind of crazy, but you're gonna understand when I give you these examples that we're talking about today. Now, before I get into this, if you're interested in learning more about flirting, I have a video called Effortless Flirting. It's this module that is inside of a bigger course called Hooked which you hear me talk about quite a bit. My course teaching men how to attract women, understanding female psychology, and knowing what to say to a girl to actually get her interested in you. And so there's a whole video specifically about flirting. So if you wanna get that and learn more about that, I'll put a link down in the description below. Now today we're talking about three questions that you can ask a girl. So when can you use these? You can use these when you meet her for the first time, so in an initial interaction. You can use these on a date. You can even use it over text. And I'll give you specifically where you can use these when I go through them. Okay, I know you're, you wanna get into it. So here's the first one. First one is, you know I totally hate hanging out with you, right? So that's a question. It's obviously a rhetorical question. Some of these are. You know I totally hate hanging out with you, right? When you ask her this question, what you're really saying to her, because you're not actually looking for an answer, you're saying to her that I enjoy hanging out with you. So you're doing this in this nice, subtle way. Such a better way to phrase it than, you know, I really like hanging out with you. Saying something like that is really cheesy and shows too much interest. We want to get her to chase you a little bit. So we want to say something like, you know, I totally hate hanging out with you, right? And when you do it, you're going to say it obviously with a little bit of a smile. If you say it too seriously, obviously she's going to think uh, that is incredibly rude and that's gonna work against you. So you're gonna say, you know, I totally hate hanging out with you, right? This is something that you would say when you are on a date. So this is more specific to a date. You guys have hung out, maybe you've hung out a couple times. Towards the end of the date, you can say, you know, I totally hate hanging out with you, right? Great question, obviously rhetorical. But let's go into the next one, which is actually not rhetorical, and you're gonna use this usually over text message. Are we going on an adventure this week or what? Are we going on an adventure this week or what? So again, you're gonna use this, I would say, over text. This is going to be something where you're asking her out, okay? So this is not gonna be you saying this in order for her to make the plan. You, as the man, need to make the plan. You are the one who is leading the interaction. This is what is attractive and sexy to women. But it's also fun. So if you're saying, are we going on an adventure this week or what? You're saying to her, we're about to do something fun. And women, people like adventures. They like that kind of, uh, there's like a secretness behind it. Like, whoa, like curiosity. Like, what is this? What adventure? What's going on? Okay. So you are going to say that to her, but then you better have something to back it up. So you're not looking for her to answer it in terms of, does she have something where you guys can do this? You're saying it in terms of, is she interested in going on this adventure with you? And then you should have something that you guys are doing, whatever it is. And by the way, it doesn't have to be some crazy literal adventure. Sure, it should be something a little bit more interesting than coffee or dinner, but something as in, I don't know, taking a walk somewhere, uh, going somewhere hiking, going somewhere that's a little bit more interesting than your average place. Whatever it may be, doesn't have to be crazy. Again, are we going on an adventure this week or what? Good thing to text a girl when you're setting up a date. All right, let's go to the third one. You totally love me right now, don't you? I'm not saying that to you, but you are gonna say that to them. You totally love me right now, don't you? This is a great one that you can use in the initial interaction. I feel like the ones I've given you today are uh, going in reverse here, but in terms of chronological courtship, so to speak. So you're gonna be saying this to her in an initial interaction, but you can also use it on a date if you want to. You totally love me right now, don't you? So this would be something that you would say to a girl, not out of the blue. So you're not gonna be just like on a date and things go silent and you go, you totally love me right now, don't you? It's gonna be after something has been said or something that you guys are doing. This is a good example of what's called cocky funny. Cocky funny is this concept that was made up by a, a 
former dating coach named David D'Angelo. And he talks about the concept of cocky funny being that you're being a little cocky, a little arrogant, but you're doing it in a playful tone. You totally love me right now, don't you? So imagine you guys are talking and you say something where you both disagree and she totally disagrees with whatever it is that you're saying. You can say, you totally love me right now, don't you? You totally love me right now, don't you? I know you do. So something where you guys are disagreeing, maybe something where, I don't know, maybe you make a mistake or you do something or you say something uh, dumb or you know, whatever. You fumble over something, you can say, you totally love me right now, don't you? So again, you're saying this in the context where you're being playful about it and you're showing her that you think you're awesome. And so of course, she should think that as well. So a lot of underlying things here that you are subcommunicating through this phrase and through some of the other phrases as well. And that's what makes them flirtatious. It's this kind of push-pull back and forth. You're saying to her something that may be a little bit cocky, so it's not something that's an overt where you're saying giving them a lot of interest, right? So with this, it's this nice playful dance, this push-pull, I like to say. Again, a lot of these and more are in the module called Effortless Flirting, which is in my Hooked program. You can learn a bunch more phrases. But now you understand the concept behind this, I want you to write down below what would be a question that you could ask that's also flirty that really embodies this idea that I'm talking about here. I wanna hear from you and the more people that join in, then all of us can get help here. We can get some ideas. So write some down below, maybe things that are cocky funny, maybe things that are questions that are showing interest but not too much interest. I know there's gonna be a lot of guys spamming and trolling and yada, 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 but Hopefully there's some of you out there who will write down below something good that we can all use and I will comment down below if it is good. So go ahead and do that. Of course, check out the Hooked program if you need more help with flirting and I'll see you on the next video.